Our next guest is a Tony, Emmy and Grammy award-winning performer you know from The Politician and his stunning run on Broadway in Dear Evan Hansen. It is an absolute pleasure to welcome the mighty Ben Platt to the show. There he is. How are Hello. you, Ben? I'm good. It's nice to see your face. It's always nice to see your face. You have Likewise. a kind and welcoming face, which I think lifts the days of many. Do you hear that a lot? You know, not from my house anymore because we've been in the same house for two months, but from others, sure. But I think even a lockdown plat can lift the spirits. Thanks. I try. I do what I can. A lot of play piano playing early in the morning to wake people up. You have been doing a lot of piano playing and you've been putting out lots of music. I've loved all of your videos that Thank you've been you putting much. up and stuff. I think they're absolutely brilliant. Thank you. It's the only way to stay sane, I think, is just to find something to creative to do and, and luckily music is can be solitary so it's been okay but you've been being creative in all manner of ways talk to me about these trivia game nights yes, that you've yes. been having but i feel like lots of people are having quiz nights and things but you've gone an extra mile where it involves costumes we have yeah, a photo of you here as harry potter a photo mm -hmm. of you here of Elphaba. talk mm -hmm. me through these quiz nights what happens of course yeah of course this is becoming sort of a thing of legend so my friend group <laughs> is kind of scattered all over the place. And we started with, we were like, we're all theater nerds, of course. So we were like, let's do Broadway trivia night on Zoom. So we all dressed up as our favorite Broadway characters. Naturally, I was Alphaba, as you can see. Um, and my boyfriend Noah and I, we made the questions for everyone. And you'll go to your breakout rooms, you deliberate you with your answers, you come back and, and say the answer. And we loved it so much that we made it a weekly thing. So we did like a Pop Divas week, we did a Friends trivia week, we did a Harry Potter week. Um, and it's just a nice way to like remember that people exist and that we're all still together and it's fun and it feels like we're all actually hanging out, which is really nice. I highly recommend the trivia hangout if you haven't been doing that yet. Oh, I love a trivia hangout, but I've never taken it. What I think you're doing here is you're taking it to 11. Oh yeah. Costumes, I don't, I, or even a breakout room. What's the breakout the, room? The breakout room is so you're in the main Zoom and then there's two teams. And then once you give the question, the teams each go to a breakout room. Oh, like a I zoo. see. So you're not in a team with just the people that you're with. Exactly. Yeah. I you can get it. Great in private, and then you come back and give your answer. Exactly. Oh, I like this. Mm -hmm. It's good. It's really, really fun. This is my sort of trivia quiz. Would you? Should I give you some of them? Uh, what now? A question? Yeah. I mean, yeah, I, I'll I take have a, all my trivia. Uh, go on then. Give me a. I'll take a friend's trivia. Go on. Okay. How about this? What is Chandler's father's drag name? Is it A. Mimi, I'm first. Is it B. Blair St. Clair? Is it C. Helena Handbasket? Or D, Ruby Red. Okay, these are deep cuts. I told you I'm not messing around. I'm gonna go with C. That is correct. Oh, look at this. Well done, very impressive. This is very great. Impressive. See, it is okay. fun. That's really cheered me up. Now I wanna to talk to you about this new single you have that you're performing on the show tonight. And you're yes. performing it with Phineas, who we love here at The Late Late Show. This is your first time working together. Tell me about how the song happened and how it came about. Certainly. So yeah, I wrote the song uh, in the first couple of weeks of quarantine over Zoom with my collaborator, Michael Pollack. I really wanted to write a song that could bring some comfort for the time and sort of applied to what was going on, but that could live beyond this. Because as we all know, God willing, this is very temporary. Um, and so uh, it was my first time sort of trying the Zoom writing thing and thankfully it went really well and we love what we got. and. I was trying to think of who could I send this song to who could produce it alone in their home. And Phineas not only can play every instrument and in, under the sun and create beautiful sounds alone in his studio, but he also has such like emotional intelligence. Like yeah. he really knows how to not overcrowd the story of the song. And so he was my dream choice. And I've, we've always kind of skirted around the idea of working together. We were going to maybe like try to write a musical together, lots of different ideas we've had. And so I thought this would be a great first, uh, first try. So I sent him the song and he right away called me and said, I love it. I totally hear it. And uh, three days later, he had a beautiful produced version ready for me. Wow, it's incredible. People are in for a real treat, uh, which will be coming up just after this break. But I also, I really want to talk to you about your, your Netflix special, Ben yes. Platt Live at Radio City in New York. What do you remember about that night? It was really, it was really special. I mean, I think it was like a crossroads of everybody in my life. My family was there, the Evan Hansen peeps, the politician peeps, my high school friends, everybody kind of came together for it. And I think, you know, my goal with the special even before COVID was to make it feel like you were really there in the room in the theater with us and create that live feeling. And so now more than ever, I feel like people are really missing that. And I know I'm missing that. And so I think it's a really nice little like 90 minute escape where you can really feel like you're at a show hopefully. and forget what's going on for a little bit. And, and 
Now, it you're was... so used to performing in character. Yes. Because you did a long run on Evan Hansen. You play character, you're, you're a, a wonderful actor. Did you have to sort of rewire yourself to be like, oh, well, this is who I am when I'm myself singing songs? Absolutely, yes. I think it was really nice that I got to do a bit of a tour before we got to Radio City because I had a chance to get used to like, you know, dancing like I dance, you know, when I'm out with my friends and letting myself do that on stage or like telling the stories I want to tell or like how much do I want to divulge and like how do I want to sing these songs? Do I have to match the record or can I sing them the way I'm feeling them in the day? And it was a new kind of freedom that I think was super scary at first because it's I'm so used to, like you said, like fitting into like a cog of a greater machine. But in this case, it was like, you know, I was kind of the creative head. So it was really uh, scary at first. But by the time we got to Radio City, I felt like I had a handle on like, what does it mean when it's me performing? And I'm really happy that there's like a beautiful home video of that now. Well, the special is absolutely brilliant. Let's take a look at a clip from Ben Platt live from Radio City Music Hall, which is premiering, premiering today on Netflix. When you are younger, you wish you were older. Then when you're older, you wish for time to turn around. Don't let your wonder turn into closure. A superstar, and we've got a performance from Ben Platt right after this break. Come on back, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> 